Hi, we're going to look at the index match function, but in this instance, we're going to look at index match with multiple criteria. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the spreadsheet that we've got in front of us here, uh, I haven't got a unique identifier for each sale. Now, this is a problem. You may have come across this problem uh, before. Ideally, each row or each record should have a unique identifier for it. So fabulous bookstore and each one of those is at record number one or record number two, record number three, etc. Now, say for instance, we haven't got that. There's no way of adding that, but we need to uniquely identify a sale like the total here. So for this example here, I have fabulous bookstore, John Wilson. I have the date here and I've got the product, so I should get the total. So based on this data here, the total should be 299 pounds and 50 pence. Now, in, in order to accomplish this, we're going to have to use what's known as an array formula. Now, if you've not come across array formulas before, I will cover them in other videos. But for this time, just remember control shift and enter when we enter in an array formula and basically it's a formula that should ordinarily apply to just one row but in this case it will apply to a whole group of cells so let's get started shall we so i'm just going to click in this box here now the first thing i'm going to do is just zoom in a little bit so you can actually see so that's just uh that's it just zoom it across here so you can just see this in here uh, and I'm going to type in my first function, which is going to be index. Open brackets. You know the index function. If you've not seen it, please watch the other videos. So I'm just going to zoom back and show you what I'm going to want to index. So this time, instead of just one row, I'm going to index the whole lot all the way across. And it shows a lovely feature of the index function. You don't have to look at one particular column. Rather, you can look at a group of columns. So then I'm going to type in a comma ready to type in my second argument. So my second argument is the match function. So if you just see, look in there, you can see that we've got the match function here. Now, in the first argument of the match function, you would generally look up the lookup value, as you can say, see here. Now, because this is an array function, I just want it to match anything that is true. So if those of you who've done a lot of if statements or some if or count ifs, you'll know that one is a true value so i'm going to type in one if you're looking for anything that doesn't match the uh, uh, criteria that we we can see at the top here then we can put in a zero but i don't know why you want to do that here so we're going to put in a one here so now we're going to start putting in our conditions and you do that by adding in a bracket putting in the condition and then joining them together if you're looking for and making sure they're all true by the asterisk so I'm just going to zoom in um, as I'm going to be typing the first one so you can see that. Good. So the first one here is going to look at um, the first, if I just scroll across to the left hand side, I'm going to look at the A column. So it's looking at everything in the A column here. Just zoom back a touch. So if I now zoom back, just go back here, there we go. And then I'm going to type in the asterisk and it's going to look for fabulous bookstore. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to apologize, not the asterisk, equals fabulous bookstore. There we go, and then I close off my brackets. Good, so it's now going to match everything that uh, has the company name fabulous bookstore. Just zoom back. Oops. So now it's going to match everything that's going to match the name company bookstore. That's better, you can see my face there. So um, I'm just going to concatenate this or add an and. So this time I'm using the multiply. So just zoom in so you can see that one there. So you see the asterisk. So now I'm just going to add another bracket in. So just a normal bracket. And this time I'm going to look for contact name. So click on B equals John Wilson. Close off my brackets here. I then add another asterisk in. I another open bracket this time I'm looking for the C it's going to be equal to the uh, order dates and close off my brackets here uh, add in another condition with a asterisk 
and the same condition is there is going to be pretty much the same but this time with the product so the product is got to be equal to the product here deep sea fishing close off the brackets so far so good so i'm going to trace a comma in and the last argument it's asking me is do i want to see less than greater than or an exact match well i want this to be an exact match i'm going to type in zero and close off my brackets which closes off the arguments there uh, and closes off the match function so now last but not least i need to tell um the index function what column i want to bring back so if i count my columns one two three four five six seven eight it's the eighth column so i'm going to type in an eighth in there and then close off the brackets for my index function so here is where the array function comes in if i just press enter on its own here i'll get a not applicable error however if i hold down control shift and enter i then uh, get an array function if i double click so you can see how an array function looks is so i go control shift and enter again if you look at the top here you can see little brackets let me just zoom in so you can see there there we go so you see at the top here i've got little brackets these little braces and they indicate that i have held down control shift and enter and put in an array function so there we have it we have our array function as we can see here in my cell l six if i double click you can see at the top uh, i don't have the brackets there but holding on control shift and enter i enter it in here and then i can now see that i have the braces there so this is important obviously um these array functions again i will cover in more videos so please subscribe to the channel um or if you're watching this video on our website just please come back to our website for future videos thank you so much for watching